this industrial straight thread sewing machine which is a Juki DDL8700 is driven by a clutch motor 250 watts 60 Hertz 320 volts and it turns around 3500 uh, rpm and the pulley is almost a one-to-one -one ratio or maybe one to two ratio so it's still quite fast and since I have already done the modifications, I will support sort of reverse engineering how I did how we did it. So what I did is essentially to extend the the lever there to allow for more precise control. And then I also added a rubber band rubber bands which acts like a spring to provide more tension uh, as you step on the on the pedal there so let me just disassemble what I what I put in so to give you an idea all right this is the most important part of the modification to control the speed of the motor yeah so essentially we have a one inch uh, flat bar I use two of them because it's a bit thin so to make it more sturdy and of course uh, two pieces of screws and then for the tensioner I use uh, rubber bands yeah. the good thing about rubber bands is if the tension is too too light you can add more if it's too too much then you can just uh, you know reduce the number of rubber bands and then very important of course is you drill a hole in into it and make sure that those holes align like so here there you go yeah there, they're, they're aligned. I drilled three holes, so you have, you know, um, options to move it like so or extend it a bit further. Yeah. For this one, um, it's not too long. Still, uh, you know, about maybe um, two more inches that it could extend, but it's enough. Yeah. Okay. And for the for the pedal linkage, it was originally attached like that here. This one you can actually move it to the other side like this, like this. which allows you to, to attach this uh, lever extension to here. Okay. So let me put them all together again. Okay. I already screwed it to the facing the other side. Okay. So bolted and secure the extension arm here the tensioner or the spring uh, we're using rubber bands so for this one we I use uh, four rubber bands and then for the ends you double that number so here is eight and then you connect them together like a chain like that I used to do this when I was a kid yeah uh, we made uh, Okay, six, six links, okay, like that, so this is the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, okay, and finally the last one, okay, alright, so that would be our spring using a rubber band, yep, next thing to do is to reconnect the lever yeah, the here. Yeah. and we push it like the lid here yeah we can tighten that later and all you need to do now is to connect the rubber band to here yeah. okay just tighten this a little bit So long you can adjust the number of rubber bands and if it's too tight um, I mean you reduce the, the linkage in here we have one two three four five six so if that's too long maybe you make it a five or make it a three and if it's too strong you can reduce the number of rubber bands yeah yeah so uh, 
in, in here the tension of the spring is not too tight that's why I added this uh, rubber band here to you know to make the the foot a bit harder so it provides more tension okay and then the The good thing about these changes is you can slow down the machine for more precise control but at the same time you can still go as fast as you want like that yeah so it doesn't uh, diminish the performance of the CV machine yeah you can go very fast or you can go very slow Thank you and I hope you learn something and apply it to your hobby or your work. Have a good day. Bye-bye.